the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. No way. General David Sarnoff of RCA congratulates Admiral Kearney, Chief of Naval Operations. An old Marconi operator himself, the general sends the first message using the type key on which he relayed the Titanic disaster messages. A ship or installation anywhere on the globe can be instantly reached from Radio Jim Creek, as the station is known. Oh my God, no way! Answering messages begin coming in over the station's teletype. Built at a cost of $14 million, the station embodies the last word in radio transmission and is a giant step forward in the Navy's network of communications. No way! No way, no way! Operating 24 hours a day, numerous nations maintain a network of Loran transmitting stations to service the major shipping lanes. There are a pair here, for example, Sisconset and Bodie Island. One is known as the master station, the other is the slave. For a moment, consider these two stations operating as a synchronous pair, simultaneously emitting short pulses of radio energy. Leaving both shore stations simultaneously, a pair of pulses travel out into space, in all directions, at a constant speed, roughly 186,000 miles per second, or the speed of light. Plus, the pulse from the closer station will reach the ship an instant before the pulse from the other station. But that's not possible. The Loran ship board gear measures this difference in time of arrival in millionths of a second, or microseconds. It simply determines how much longer one pulse takes to reach the ship than the other pulse. What? You're joking, right? Now, this same time interval will be observed at many points within the range of the two shore stations. And when connected, these points form a hyperbola, known as the Loran line of position. To aid the navigator in obtaining a fix, specially prepared Loran tables and charts contain accurately plotted lines of position on the various time differences encountered in a particular area. Having one line of position, we then obtain readings from another pair of stations. An accurate fix is established at the intersection of the two lines of position. That's not right. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. A ship or installation anywhere on the globe can be instantly reached from Radio Jim Creek as the station is known. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Get the hell out! Yawn outside! Stay out of class! A ship or installation anywhere on the globe can be instantly reached from Radio Jim Creek, Stop. as the station is known. Right. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. You are self-consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit! It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. A ship or installation anywhere on the globe can be instantly reached from Radio Jim Creek, as the station is known. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. 